All right, what's up, guys? I have another video right here. We got the Chevrolet 64 Impala from Hot Wheels. If you're a collector, you know what this is. I don't have to tell you. But I'm really excited to get into it. So instead of talking about it, let's just go ahead and show it right away. I did get this in the mail. I just picked it up from the mailbox. All right, here it is. As you guys know, this one just does come in a box, unlike the other ones that come on a blister. You can read that if you need to. It's really cool, the amount of detail that went into this one. And you guys go with the number. It's pretty low compared to the 20,000. Not that low of a number, but still, compared to the 20,000, it's pretty low. And I was actually glad to see that because if you guys have heard, there's been issues with some of the later numbered ones where um, where they don't come uh, perfectly aligned or something like they don't have a they don't sit right with the later models. But this is one of the earlier ones. So that won't be our issue. Now you can see the car right there. It's in a felt lined, uh, I'll say plastic, it's just felt lined to protect the vehicle. Let's pull it out. Wow, look at that. All nice and chrome. Spectre flame, Spectre flame uh, pink paint. See the front details right there, the roses, roses along, along the sides. There's a little quote right there. You see the sound system in the back. Here we have the, the, the rear. You can see the plate right there it says S slow. Slow and low, I guess. More detailing on this side. We have the front grill and everything. The plate as well, as slow. Let's get in the interior real quick. You can see there's detailing on the door panels. And then just the rear seats. You can barely see in there, but... You can see the steering wheel and the shifter and everything. They're painted in a black color. Just to accident a little bit more. But there you guys go, man. It's a really clean car. Really awesome car. Yeah, well, the thing about this one that was surprising is that even though it was 20,000 models, it still sold out in less than like five minutes, I would say. As you know, with these vehicles, it's a low rider. That's why you have all this in the bottom. There you guys go. I pulled it a little bit so you can see it better. You see right there that's pretty cool wow this thing just rolled down man it's a heavy piece so don't put it on a uneven surface like i just did right there because it rolls it's really heavy well, the good thing about these is that they are premium cars, so they're they're gonna last. So even though it did roll off a bit and it did fail kind of hard, it's still okay. You can see right there how cool it looks with the lowrider aspect of it. Let's go ahead and try to lift with the back side as well. Trying to do it with one hand. There you go. Let's hope it doesn't roll off this time. So that's the cool thing about this car. Pretend it was jumping like that. Pretty cool, isn't it? 
cool little car, man. It's cool that Hoggles brought this back in a ROC form because they did already have lowriders in the, before. I would say like maybe 20 years ago, they used to have lowriders or something. 15 years ago, they had, they had like this already designed and in use for some vehicles. But uh, they haven't brought it back in a long time and it's cool that they did. You can see that tire tucks in so low, man. Look how low it tucks, man. You can't even see that wheel anymore. It sits so low. It looks like the stance is okay. Doesn't look like it's messed up at all. It's a really nice piece. If you didn't get it, I would suggest you get it. One last thing that they include with these. It's like this uh, mirror cardboard piece. You can see it's like just cardboard. And you're supposed to peel it off, but I'm not gonna peel it off because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm gonna display it, but uh, what the hell, let's just peel it off. Because you can tell it's just, you can tell it's cardboard, like it just feels like a piece of cardboard, but they put roses on there and everything. Let's lift this one again. There you go. It's like a it's like a stand almost but it's just a piece of cardboard so it's not really a stand but i guess it's just to show you underneath the vehicle like it shows you the underside of it it's just a nice little touch that that they wanted to offer see a little bit better you can see underneath so i think that's the purpose of it to see the underside you know you want to show off that clean chrome underneath so yeah it's pretty cool but other than that man i showed you the car let me know what you guys think let me know if you have one let me know if you want to buy one now that you've seen it but yeah man have a good one thanks for watching